We're back and we're having fertilizer. Okay. Now, speaking of the fertilizer, and you were talking about um, the fact that we do have to be fertilized in order to produce, um, to produce, because uh, to, to produce seed. Um, marriage is one of the greatest um, me mechanisms that God uses to fertilize us. Yes, I believe so. On a daily basis. But when we think of fertilizer, a lot of time, well, fertilizer, it stinks. Um, it doesn't smell good at all. In fact, that you know, you're they trying use... to tell me God's word stinks. No, but the the things that He uses, the trials that He uses, the fiery trials that He uses, they stink to our flesh. That may be so, but let's look at it like this: in order for us to be godly, in order for us to be fruitful, in order for us to be able to multiply, we must be able to fertilize our mind. How do we fertilize our mind? One, we have to read God's Word. Two, we have to pray. Three, we have to be able to take what knowledge that we get from reading God's Word and be able to spread it amongst our flock, amongst our people, be able to fertilize their minds, help them <laughs> see what we see. That's all part of being fertilized. You just can't take a tree and prune it and expect it to grow. You mean if you just can't, if you keep cutting it back, right. you just keep cutting it you back, cutting it gonna, back you're going to kill it. You're going to kill it eventually. But it has to have some type of fertilization. It has to have some type of fertilizer in order for it to get to the root and be, once again, they get to want to imitate us and that's a mind. That's going out to somebody else. And that's going out to the next person. And that's what I'm talking about. Fertilizing. We're fertilizing our minds with God's words in order to walk in God's image. It's a lot of fertilizing. That's okay. But we all <laughs> grow from it. <laughs> well, um, the first seed to, to, to be fruitful, um, the first fruit that I think of, the Bible says that God is love. So, the fruit would be the fruits of love. And um, one of the fruits of love, it's in 1 it's it's Corinthians, isn't it? 1 Corinthians uh, 13 verse, the uh, 13 chapter, uh, I think let's it's the 4th it, verse. Okay, let's, let's, let's find it. You go ahead, you can keep on talking. I, I'm just <laughs> meditating on this fertilizer. Alrighty. Um, See how you're nourishing your mind already? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of fertilizer going yeah. on. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13 chapter and the 4th verse. And as it says... Watch me, the mic. Watch. Yeah. Okay. Love is patient. Stop right there. Don't, don't go any further. Okay, we're going back to what is love. God is love. Okay? Love is patient. Why um, do I have to have patience? Wonder what patience, I mean, when I don't want to go into the exegesis of what patience is. There are a lot of scholars out there that know, but we're going to talk about patience on a daily basis in marriage and how um, the fruit, that fruit is perfected, is being transformed. Perfect example. We get up this morning getting ready to do the take, right? Yes. And I have that focus on my mind utmost and it seemed like everything was going wrong. I mean, the computer was acting up. Um, everything was going on. Your husband was acting You were on one page. I'm in another country. Um, but we knew that we had a God purpose. And Correct. that the God pur purpose was not to fuss at each other, which we were beginning to do. Right. Um, the God purpose was not to prove who was right or who was wrong. But the God purpose was to get this video out that we might produce fruit. True. After God's kind. Okay. And so we had to exercise patience. Patience first with, wait a minute, I'm not right. Um, he ain't right either, but we know who is right, and that's God. And so we take a step back and realize um, there's a scripture that says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. I wasn't wrestling against you. I wasn't wrestling against this computer. 
I wasn't wrestling against a dog that was out there in the yard barking like a like crazy. But we wrestled it was again it's Ephesians good. six, the sixth chapter, around the ninth verse. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But these were spirits that that have tried to come to hinder the purpose of God. That's true. And as we sat back and we start seeing what was happening around us, we had to take two steps back sure. in order to get focus on what God wanted us to work on this morning. And um, sure, we, um, we we have problems with the computer. Stop hitting the computer, I'm trying to say. Oh, God. okay. <laughs> but we have problems with the computer. We had um, problems with getting the mic right. Um, we, I was working on one thing, you was working on something, all different but world. it was all what God wanted us to do, but we had to sit back and say, we need to talk to one another mm -hmm. to make sure that we're, on the we're same all page. on the same page. Right, right. Once we stepped back, we were able to say, okay, we had to exercise our patience, True. okay? Our patience, for one, is screw tapes was we knew was in the house we call you know, Satan Satan screw, screw tapes, tapes. Mm -hmm. we knew he was here in in this house in the spirit so we had to exercise our patience in order to defeat him there is no way that screw tape wanted us to do this and we realized that Sorry. so we had to sit back first of all and then we had to pray for the Holy Spirit to come in and put us right True. okay and once we got right and we've got our patience back, okay, then we can go out and spread the word that God wanted us to spread and be able to, once again, be fruitful, multiply, because we're bringing this word to you out there in order for you to understand what we go through. Number two, also, we exercise patience. 